Well, if you are tweeting, use hashtag 2013, and you might like to tweet the fact that this evening we have had a very special guest. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your Prime Minister, Mr. David Cameron. Um, um, well, thank you very much for that reception, and uh, good evening, everybody, and uh, many congratulations to everyone who's been nominated tonight. Many congratulations to everyone who's taking part. Many congratulations to everyone else who's obviously uh, having a good time already. Um, my uh, role in being here is a brief walk-on uh, part tonight. Um, I've had an interesting week. I'm, I'm sure you've had an interesting week. Um, I don't know whether you saw that picture of my wife in the red wig for Red Nose Day. Um, well, I did something I'm never going to do again, which is she showed me the picture on the Daily Mail website, and I scrolled down to read the first comment. And it went something like this. Isn't Samantha Cameron the most beautiful, fragrant, charming, lovely-looking woman? But I'm afraid her husband is still a pillock. <laughs> um, anyway, so that's something I'm not going to do uh, uh, again. But anyway, as, um, as Chris Hewn said to his wife, there are three points I want to... Uh, <laughs> there are three points I want to get across to you tonight. Um... um the first, the first point I want to make, uh, which is, is important, um, we politicians, we spend a lot of time in our constituencies and in the country going to all the places where we spend the money. We spend a lot of time in hospitals, we spend a lot of time in police stations, sometimes just visiting, hopefully. Um, we spend a lot of time in schools, and it's good that we do, but we probably don't spend enough time with the people who create the wealth that pays the taxes, that pays for the services, and that is all the businesses. So I wanted to come here particularly tonight and say thank you for what you do, creating jobs, creating investment, creating wealth for everything you do here in West Oxfordshire. And we're fortunate to have a very strong and vibrant economy. And the really exciting thing about this year is it's about to get a lot stronger with Caterham Motors, another Formula One team coming right here to West Oxfordshire to Leafield and establishing a plant that in time is going to employ maybe as many as 800 people. So I think our economy is vibrant. Now it's all down to you, but there is one person I want to thank on your behalf. I think we're very fortunate to have here in West Oxfordshire someone at the District Council who is business friendly, who helps, who cares about business, and that is Will Barton. It's great to have him here tonight. <laughs> Now, the second point I want to get across to you, and this is the, this is the serious point of what I want to, to, to say tonight, is it, it is true that we are in a very tough global race right now. There's no doubt that the world is changing. We're facing competition from India, China, Malaysia, Indonesia, and that means we have got to sharpen up our act. There's a huge amount that we have to do. We've got to pay down our deficit. We've got to keep our business rates competitive. We've got to cut our taxes that business pay. We've got to train a generation of bright school leavers and graduates and apprenticeships for the future. We've got to get on top of our welfare bills. But there's so much also that you have to do in business to make sure you can compete and succeed uh, with the best in the world. Now, we've come some way over the last few years. The deficit is down. The corporation tax rate is falling. We've trained a million apprentices since the last election, but there's so much more we need to do. So I just wanted to say how much I want to go on working with business, large and small, over the next few years to make sure that Britain is a success in that global race. It's the single most important thing that we have to do. And it's going to be the private sector that is going to deliver. We do face a tough time in this country, a tough time economically. But one of the things I think we can take real heart about is the fact that over the last two and a half years, we have created a net one million private sector jobs. That is not we, the government, that is you, business, that has delivered one million private sector extra jobs. And the rate of new business creation in our country is actually the fastest that it's been in our history. And the truth is, while the big companies have got a huge role to play and we must do what we can to help them export, manufacture, invest, it is going to be the small and the medium-sized companies that provide the real growth of the future. So it's absolutely vital, the work that you're engaged in. Third and final point I wanted to make before I 
don't want to hold you back from your dinner and the awards that are going to follow. But this is something I want you to help me with. If we are going to recognize the place that business should really have in our society, if we're going to encourage enterprise properly, and if we're going to win in this global race, there's something that the politicians certainly cannot deliver and no one can deliver on their own, and that is a change in culture. We need to make our country more enterprise friendly, more business friendly, more respectful of people who go in and put in a hard day's work in a small business or a medium sized enterprise, more respectful of people who make things, who sell things, who export things, more respectful of people who work hard and make money, make a profit and put that back into their business. Now, I can help with that with the speeches I make and the talks that I give. You can help with that by going on and being a success in the businesses that you work in and the businesses that you lead, but you can also help by getting into our schools and talking to children about the opportunities that business, that enterprise, that commerce can deliver. We haven't done enough of that in our country. We cannot count on teachers to do that for us. We need people that have lived a life in business, that have succeeded in enterprise, that care about making, selling and exporting, that think engineering is an incredible future job rather than about people running around in dirty overalls, getting into our schools and talking to children about what business, enterprise, commerce, jobs in the private sector all mean. So please help me with that. And if you do that, we'll have many more evenings like this here in this fantastic hotel with many more businesses in West Oxfordshire succeeding and doing a great thing for our economy. So well done with what you have done. Thank you for what you're doing for our country and have a great night tonight. Thank you very much indeed. Brilliant. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. David Cameron.